We're going to be looking over the numbers on a undervalued duplex investment. Jerry and Lisa from California. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, this is the show on Holton Wise TV, guys, where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. We help you guys start, build, grow your real estate portfolios. Uh, we give you the education, we give you the market knowledge, and then Holton Wise, we are your full boots on the ground service. We do buyer agency representation. We do property management, maintenance, landscaping, construction, insurance, title. And when you're ready to sell your investments, cash in your chips, we will sell your property on our other show on Holton Wise TV, the Investment Properties for Sale show. Now, uh, today's episode, it's for Jerry and Lisa, husband, wife, couple, team, whatever you want to call them. Uh, from California. I just got done doing three videos for you guys a few days ago, okay? Uh, you guys are trying to spend, you have to spend, uh, identify $400,000 worth of real estate uh, per, you know, regulations, whatever you want to call them, uh, of this 1031 exchange that you're doing, okay? And originally, Jerry, you were like, hey, uh, show me the fewest amount of, of, of properties that you can do to, to get me this 400k right so what i did is i made you three videos two quads and a triplex and uh, uh one quad was you know pretty high end right one of those fourplexes is pretty high end in lakewood the other one uh was also a fourplex in lakewood which was on the lower end and then the triplex was just like this, this beautiful turnkey triplex uh which you guys are considering making an offer but before you make an offer you wanted to see uh, what some of the smaller buildings uh, would look like, right? So what would it look like if we were to just fill your portfolio out with uh, a few cheaper buildings, right? So this is one I came across that I thought you guys would be interested in. Just popped on the market three days ago, all right? 8801 Platten Avenue, Cleveland 44102, listed at 84900 which would be a mighty fine price for this investment. Wouldn't have an issue with that price if the current rent roll was not 500 a month and 550 a month, right? That's 1,050 a month or 12,600 a year. These units, both two bed, one bath, these should be renting at 750. 750 is market rent for these, so should be bringing in 1,500 a month, but they are 450 shy. As far as the tenants, long-term tenants, uh, owner says they want to stay, but you know every owner is going to say that, just so you know, like. Nope. <laughs> like, everybody's like, what does the owner say about the tenants when they're selling the property? Like, just so you guys are aware, like, there's like no scenario where we try to buy a duplex and the owner's like, yeah, I'm selling it because the tenants are fucking pricks and I fucking hate them. Right? Nobody ever says that. It doesn't sound very good when you're selling a property. But, um, you know, well, if you love your tenants and they're the greatest thing uh, since sliced bread, why are you selling the investment? Right? So, you know whatever right that just take that with a grain of salt when you hear that but that's what we heard okay as far as the interior of the units go we got no pictures right no pictures this is all we got just these four pictures of the outside right so that's another cue that you know maybe the tenants are a little difficult but you know most all tenants are difficult when it comes to bothering them in their unit like if i let you know if i had people that wanted to come inside my house and take pictures i wouldn't be happy either uh couple that with we got covid going on right like who the hell wants somebody to come in their their house during a freaking global viral pandemic right so let's not slay the tenants for that right but at the end of the day we have an investment here where we are 450 under what we should be bringing in we don't know what the interior looks like, okay? So what we're going to do is assume that we're going to need to do full unit turns when we turn these units over, right? So I'm talking floors, walls, kitchens, baths, right? I'm talking ten to $15,000 per unit 
on a turnover, okay, to get them spick and span Section 8 ready, ready to bring in that 1500 a month. That's going to be the end game. But right now, what's it doing, okay? Well, right now, of the 1050 that comes in, I anticipate you guys spending approximately 631 leaving you with an average NOI of 419 or a little bit over 5 Gs a year. As far as the price, we're going to utilize the fact that we don't have photos, right? We're going to utilize the fact that the rents are under market rent, and we're not going to try to pay what the property's worth. I think the property, you know, if they were renting it for a reasonable amount, like even if the units were being rented at like six and a quarter and six seventy five somewhere in there, I would say we'd probably have a line of buyers trying to pick it up at eighty five k. That's a fine price for the neighborhood, right? Uh, we're gonna try to get aggressive and try to beat them down though to a price point of seventy thousand. If we pick this up at seventy thousand, finance the thing. You guys only need to spend seventeen and a half in cash. Have the bank kick in the other 52 and a half that's going to result in a 13.6 percent cash on cash return today okay today where it's at right now with these under market rents right now i told you 10 to 15k if you got to do a turnover right that doesn't necessarily mean we are guaranteed to have to turn both of these units over to get us up to 750 what i like to do is work people up slowly right if you just take over the asset and the tenants are on a month-to-month -month lease, which is what these folks are on. Some landlords are like, hey, Holton Wives, when can we up the rent? And we say, we just got to give them a 30-day notice, then we can up the rent. So they immediately want to be like, all right, market rent 750 This dude's paying 500 Give me to 750 next month. Legally, yeah, you could do that, but most of the time you're gonna you're gonna get yourself an artificial turnover. The tenants gonna move out, right? And they, you know you shouldn't be in a rush if the property's gonna kick off a thirteen and a half percent return right now today. Why are you gonna be in a rush to remove the income stream to then just send me fifteen thousand dollars to rehab your unit right now, right? Doesn't make any goddamn sense, right? Are you a lender? If so. Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We make money by eliminating turnovers, right? So what I like to do, I like to take properties like this. I like to get the tenants signed up on the new leases, our leases, the first month we take it over, and keep the rent the same, right? Because when you get, you know, something like this, it's like a mom and pop. It's like, you know, they know the landlord by, by their name, right? You know, say it's some dude named Earl. Like, hey, we're tenants, Billy and Katie, and that's our landlord, Earl. Like, er everybody knows each other, right? You probably got Earl's cell phone number, right? But then you got, like, Holton Wise comes in, big, bad, biggest property management company in, in, in the neighborhood. We got all the trucks, all the units. You call our number. You got to, like, press one to get to the right department, things of that nature, right? It's different, right? It's, it's very, very different, and different scares people. When people are scared, they move, right? So when a new company comes in and things are totally going to change, right, you, you got to tell at a heightened sense of like, oh, man, things are going to be crazy, right? So you couple that with a huge rental increase, man. That makes people turn over when they don't need to turn over, right? So we come in, hey, man, it's cool. Let's keep your rent the same, but we'll get you on our lease so everybody knows the right rules and things of that nature, right? That's what I like to do. And then after that first year, then I like to go up like 50 or 25 bucks, something like that. So the goal is to get these people up to that 750, but do it slowly while keeping them in there and avoiding doing those big turnovers, right? Because, you know, if somebody moves, again, probably new kitchens, baths, the whole nine, right? I want to spend 10 to 15, get it ready, Section 8 ready to rock for a new tenant. But why... Get a $750 tenant and spend that money if you don't have to, if you can keep one or two of the existing tenants in there, right? So that is how I would do this deal, right? Take advantage of the situation right now. Try to pick it up at 70. Slowly work those folks up, right? Uh, I am going to also send you guys another uh, duplex unit here. I am going to make that video for you guys as soon as I finish this one, which is going to happen right about now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.